Welcome back to another weekly reset in Destiny 2. This week we have Into the Light, so I'm going to cover all of that information first and then we'll go back to the normal stuff. As you can tell, I'm a bit sick, so bear with me. We have the brand new game mode Onslaught this week and it's rewarding 6 of the new 12 weapons that are coming to us Guardians. All these weapons have been brought back from past seasons, so they're technically not new, but they have new perks. Unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you already know this, but we can only farm six of them for the first few weeks of Into the Light. These six weapons include the Recluse, the Hung Jury, Succession, Edge Transit, Elsie's Rifle, and the Falling Guillotine. So get in there and farm out as many gold rolls as you can. We don't know exactly what the gold rolls will be, so if you feel like you have a good roll, keep it in your vault until we know exactly what the gold roll is. You'll also be able to obtain the special ornament that you only can get if you get the weapon during this new DLC. So make sure to get them now. We also have the Whisper of the Worm exotic mission returning, so jump in there and get your crafted Whisper of the Worm. This could be one of the best heavy weapons in the game to deal to sustain damage to bosses. Now jumping back over to the normal stuff, don't forget to swing by Raul in the tower and buy your weekly Ascendant Alloy. These are going to be very important this season with this DLC because you can actually enhance these new guns that you've got and turn them into crafted weapons, meaning you're going to need a lot of Ascendant Alloys. This week's featured raid is the King's Fall. Two of these weapons from here are a must-have. The first one is the Zali's Bane with Incandescent and Explosive Payload. The second weapon is Doom of Chelchus with its unique role, Frenzy and Explosive Payload. Both of these weapons have double damage boosting perks, so they are very unique and very sought after. The exotic from this raid is also the Touch of Malice, so if you haven't got it, maybe try and get one. The featured dungeon on this reset is the Grasp of Avarice. I know, great timing, right? The go-to weapon here is the Matador 64, one of the best shotguns you can use in PvP. You'll want to get Threat Detector and Opening Shot with as much range as you can with the barrel and the magazine. This will drop from the first encounter, the Ogre. Moving over into the Exotic Mission Rotator, we have Presage again. The go-to weapons from here are the Callus Mini Tool with Incandescent and Unrelenting. The Hollow Denial is a pretty good Trace Rifle that can roll with Repulsor Brace and Lead from Gold. The Drang is also dropping, so this one can roll with Wellspring and Incandescent. And of course, the exotic from here is the Dead Man's Tail. As of this season, we also have Warlord's Ruin being the newest dungeon, so you can get in there and get loot from it every week. I would recommend you at least do the boss one time for a chance at the exotic Buried Bloodline. The same thing goes for Crota's End, so jump in there and kill the boss Crota at least once so you can buy one red border each week. Don't forget to swing by the helm and purchase your free weekly red border from Riven if you haven't already done this. You'll want to get these crafted before the final shape. Once you finish up in the helm, swing by the tower and do all of your weekly pinnacle rewards from the the three vendors, Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit. This will give you some bright dust, and it will all add up by the end of the season. Also, while you're in the tower, don't forget to grab the bounties from Ada 1. This will give you all of your synth weaves for your cosmetic looks, and I'm sure you're going to need them in the final shape with all the new armor coming. You can do 10 of these per character per season. This week's Grandmaster Nightfall is rewarding the Braytek Osprey, a pretty unique rocket launcher with some cool rolls that could be useful in the future. It can roll with Envious Assassin and Bipod. This is pretty unique, and it can be pretty fun to play with. And as always, to wrap the list up, head over to Neomuna and do some Vex Incursion Zones if you're missing out on any other exotics on your characters. I'm sure you guys will miss most of this this week because the brand new onslaught mode is here with into the light and i don't blame you because that is all i'll be doing this entire week anyway guardians so that will wrap the video up there thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this week's video feel free to drop a like subscribe comment down below and all that other fun stuff i hope you guardians take full advantage of this weekly reset in destiny 2 and i'll see you in the next video later